The tech giant's latest foldable Galaxy Z Fold 5 offers key upgrades that make it a worthy sequel to a fantastic predecessor. But should you make the switch? Smartphones keep getting larger and larger and so does our dependency on them. What initially was used only for phone calls is now used to do everything from sending work emails, streaming videos, creating social media content, playing games, and more. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold line packs the screen size of a tablet into the portability of a smartphone, giving users the best of both worlds, especially for multitasking and productivity nuts. If you are still deciding between the just-announced Galaxy Z Fold 5 and last year's Z Fold 4, you are at the right place. This video is gonna help you pick between the two and whether or not the former is worth the upgrade. The Z Fold 4's clamshell design left a gap between the upper and bottom halves of the display, which not only let unwanted debris into the phone, but also made it less compact to hold. To address these issues, the Z Fold 5 has a gapless design that closes completely flush when folded. This helps the phone fit more comfortably in your pocket or other small spaces. In addition, the Z Fold 5 is lighter and thinner, making it ideal for taking everywhere with you without weighing your pocket, purse, or hand down. By reducing hand fatigue, the Z Fold 5 can be used for longer. If we talk about the displays, there's not much new here. However, Samsung says that the peak brightness for the internal display on the Z Fold 5 is 1750 nits or 30% brighter than the Z Fold 4. Unfortunately, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 sports the same narrow panel on the front. It's usable, but not as comfy as the Google Pixel Fold's wider cover display. This panel is also protected from scratches and drops with Gorilla Glass Victus 2. Now in terms of battery and performance, the Z Fold 5 sports a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, a big upgrade from the Z Fold 4's Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. With the newer chipset, expect an improvement in the phone's overall performance from battery efficiency to camera captures, as proven with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Although the Z Fold 5 has the same battery and camera array as its previous model, the incorporation of this new processor will help improve both aspects. The Z Fold 5 this Fold 4 camera specs are identical, including the rear cameras that consist of a 50 megapixels wide camera, 12 megapixels ultra wide, and 10 megapixels telephoto with 3 inch optical zoom. The good news is that the image quality gets a bump, especially in low light and when using the zoom. To make the most of its 7.6-inch display, the Z Fold 5 continues to enable users to run three apps at once, but there's a few handy upgrades over the Z Fold 4. For one, you can swipe up with two fingers from the bottom of the display or the side to enter multi-window mode. From there, you just select another app. In addition, the taskbar at the bottom of the display now shows your four most recently used apps, which is up from two apps on the Fold 4 and you can easily turn any app into a floating window by dragging down from the top right of the display. This comes in handy for things like YouTube and Spotify. The major numical change this year is the S Pen. If you like to take notes or draw on the go, the S Pen for the Z Fold 5 now features a 41% slimmer design. Another plus is that the S Pen case for the Z Fold 5 is sleeker than with the Z Fold 4, so it's less of a brick to carry around. The Z Fold 5 is very similar to the Z Fold 4, so I would definitely not upgrade if you happen to own the older foldable. But if you're new to this category or haven't upgraded in a few years, the Galaxy Z Fold 5's upgrades could be enough to tempt you. I like the thinner and lighter design most followed by the gapless look when closed. And the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip and modest camera improvements are welcome. But this is definitely an iterative update from Samsung. So, what do you guys think about the new Fold 5 lineup from Samsung? Is it really a massive upgrade compared to last gen Fold 4? Let us know your valuable opinion below in the comment section below and for more Galaxy updates you can check out our channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time, peace out.